For this I was born. You're not going to believe the destruction this nearly three-year-old Doberman caused after being with me for three weeks. See how a three-week board and train program can help overcome this horror. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. No. So that's Chloe's cage, trained by Erwin. She does good. Now this is Titus's cage. People said we went overboard, but I highly doubt that. Good. Here we are at the beautiful park. Feels wonderful on this day. I'm out here with this beautiful Doberman who is blessed with a fast metabolism. He's been eating a tremendous amount, but he still runs a little thin. Now with him, I have his training collar more closely to what a typical dog trainer does. A little bit tighter, riding up high on the neck. I typically would rather have an extra link in there, but because he tends to be very fucking stubborn, I need to have it a little bit tighter. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pulling in an exaggerated fashion that doesn't look good. And then another thing that doesn't look good is he's not doing it now, but whenever he's focused, he'll shiver. So he'll fucking shiver just out of excitement. The Doberman thing. Dobermans shiver. So a lot of times when I'm out training with him and he's shivering, he looks like he's terrified, even though he's not, okay? <laughs> right now he's not shivering, but you'll see, what, <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about. And he loves me and I love him. You know, this dog has been a learning experience with me because he's with me for three weeks. Like I mentioned on my Instagram, if you haven't already, do check out my Instagram. I update the stories daily. That way you kind of know what's going on. You know, sometimes these videos come up weeks after I shot them. By the time you watch this video, he may already been long gone home. Because like I said, he's supposed to be with me for three weeks. I do long-term lodge and learn programs. I'm very selective about the dogs that get to come with me for a three or a five week program. And you have to more or less be local. Put it in perspective. You know, I have a program that's $5,000. I and mean, oh shit, that's a lot of money. That's not a lot of money to me, it's $5,000. But check this out. At $5,000, your dog stays with me for a minimum of three months. It's criteria-based, meaning the dog has to graduate before I feel comfortable sending them home. Indeed, I have a Corso right now that has been with me four months, and I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep her. Her family can come pick her up any day in time. She's amazing. She's perfect. She's the best she could possibly be for her age, temperament, breed, disposition, and all that. She's fucking awesome. But guess what? I don't think she's ready to graduate yet. It might be two weeks, it might be three weeks. It might be tomorrow when I feel like she is. It might be the day after, it might be a month from now. Whatever, it's happening. She's on the vine and she will flower. She has a, her own appointed time for that though. So if it seems long, like I told her parents, please be patient and wait. For I tell you the truth, it is sure. And it will not be late, it comes on time. So a dog like this that is only with me for three weeks is a different story. It's not graduation based. Your mileage is gonna vary. But may I tell you, his family, I've trained their dog previously, their Dover and she stayed with me a long ass time. <laughs> but this is the thing, he's in a different program. So let's put it down this way, like I was just saying. Well, he's been with me for three weeks. So when he goes home today, if they keep coming out to classes like they agreed upon, meaning bringing the dog out to me for one class a week, he's gonna be fucking amazing. Just as good as a dog, just as good as he would have been with me if he were to stay with me for three to four months. It happens. It's just time. You know, it's kind of like I was telling a guy that I did a phone consultation with, yes? See, check it out. I was explaining to him, yes? So, you know, he seemed a little reluctant to enroll his dog in a board and train program up in Connecticut. 
Although I told them people make the pilgrimage. In fact, this is one of the few dogs this year that is local. He's from not too far away from me, maybe 20 minutes away. But most dogs are from out of state that I have. I specialize in that. Hence, the amount of time they spend with us, three to five months. So this is what I'm saying. If you're homeschooling your dog at home and don't feel like boarding your dog, which I agree with, you have to find the right place to board your dog. Now, I do know of other trainers around the country that I would personally feel comfortable boarding my dog with. But may I tell you, there's probably only three out of the hundreds I know of. I tell you the truth. So this is the reality of it, is if you can find the right place, that would be fantastic. But if you're homeschooling your dog at home, you need to try your best to recreate the scenarios that a trainer would be doing. And not all training programs are created equal. So if you send your dog to a boarding place, if for those three weeks or the time that your dog is training, your dog is strictly just training inside an empty room without any distractions, then it's a bullshit ass program. I believe in being out and about on field trips. If a dog listens to you while you're out and about, they're likely to listen to you inside the house. The opposite is not true. How are you doing? If you if your dog listens to you really well inside the house, doesn't mean, and literally, likely, will not translate to your dog listening to you good out in public. Handsome. So let's start off by seeing Titus sit. Handsome, Memoir. I can't believe you did it. And you're distracted by that gentleman. And you can smell his lunch. So handsome, Memoir. Now the thing with him is he struggled with me the first two weeks, despite the fact that his family brought him out for classes. Heal. I'm gonna talk while I train. His family brought him out to like classes for weeks before he came, which is a condition of a dog being allowed to enroll in my three week program, which is only $1,800. You know, there are other people, hell, there's a trainer right down the road that will keep your dog for three weeks and promise you the world. <laughs> Trying to make it seem as if that dog is gonna be super well trained. But may I tell you, it's gonna be bullshit training. We need real world shit, okay? So despite the fact that he came out, sit, good, stay. Hey, look at that. Despite the fact that he came out with me for classes, he still struggled the two weeks. But those two weeks, I did not put him in situations where he was going to succeed. I went out of my way to put him in situations like this where he was going to struggle. Had I just trained him in my yard or in an empty room, he would have listened well. I would have had nothing but good news to report. But because I chose to bring him out and about and do these kind of training sessions, hi handsome, heal. It's a lot more difficult, so you're going to struggle. You don't need any strength if there's no struggle. You don't need intelligence if there's no problem to solve so create the problem most trainers are going to go out there and try to create a, an environment of success oh make sure you start training in a quiet non-distraction room area that the dog is comfortable with so the dog is not distracted well shit that's not real world applications good good shit so i'm i fucked up the most excited about him because he's a local dog and I'd love to have more local business. I would love to have a dog for three weeks only and then have the families come out and do classes with me before and after the boarding experience. You're gonna get a tremendously well-trained dog. Out of state, obviously, or out of city, those are not a good options for you. In fact, not even a five-week option is a good option. You're looking at three months or so because your dog needs that time. Heal, good heal, sit. But this is the thing. Dude, you're starting to get... See? He doesn't want to fucking listen now. This is the thing. So, keep in mind, if he was going to be with me another two months, he would still be struggling like this, but by two months, he's habituated. Compliance from your dog is going to come from habituation. Good stay. Heal. Good. Sit. Good sit. He's fucking with me. See, I'm fucking up too because of my timing. Timing is important. I shouldn't be saying typically it's okay to tell a dog good SIT if they're like a mastiff because they're not athletic enough or nimble enough to like stop me mid sit. Shit, I almost said mid shit. Mid sit, but he can. Heal. Good. See, and he knows what he's supposed to do. You see how he's backing up? He's probably had previous training before where they were very hard on him for being stubborn. I'm not talking about his current family. But, you know, they basically rescued him, and he's definitely had training, and I can see why he was abandoned. He's a fucking hot mess, yes? He's not anymore, but he for sure was getting into some crazy shit with me. Heal? Good. Sit? Good sit. Look at this motherfucker. Heal. Good. Sit. Good sit. Heal. 
Now watch how I'm going to fix him backing up on me. I'm going to turn right. I'm going to turn right. Good. Sit. Handsome. You see how I fixed him backing up on me? Good. Stay. What a good stay. So, I'm very excited about him because when his family comes out for classes, I'm going to be videotaping those classes. And you're going to see for yourself the amazing results that you have when you do a program that way. It's kind of like if you have somebody that is homeschooled and they grow up to be very successful. May I tell you, I firmly believe that if you also if you did a combination of rigorous homeschooling in addition to educating out in the world, either at public or a charter or a private school, your kid's going to be even more successful because you're blending both worlds. A lot of times people think, oh, I'm going to dog, dog, drop my dog off for training and the dog is going to come back fixed. If that's what you're hoping for from any trainer, you're likely going to be disappointed. And I know there are situations where taking your dog even to PetSmart classes, your dog's going to be amazingly well trained. Well, shit, lightning, you know, strikes twice sometimes in the same spot. Blind squirrels find nuts. Oh. Shit happens. You know, there's people out there that have tremendous six packs. But if that person has tremendous six packs, it's not because they're dealing with a, you know, dealing with a personal trainer or likely because they underwent surgery. Sit. Good sit. Stay. Into the knife. It's because they live that shit. It's a lifestyle. Somebody said to me one time, abs are made in the kitchen. I wouldn't know about that shit. I don't have abs. Okay? No, sir. There's not a six pack here. I'm legit got a keg. And I'll tell you the truth. That keg was made in the kitchen. Good, good, good. Good stay. So I guess there is truth to that. Yes? Good. Heal. So again, this very training session, I'm out here in the real world where it's more difficult because there's things happening. This is what I want. I'm not looking to take him places where he's going to succeed. Challenge your dog, especially when you train them. Now, there is a risk in doing what I'm saying because if you don't handle the situation properly, well then, may I tell you, you're fucking up. So be prepared. Be overprepared. Sit. See, he would, if he would have been off leash, he would have ran off. He was looking to, to run off. He was looking to run off. Heal. Good. Sit. Good sit. All right, I'm gonna start correcting three times now. Heel. Sit. Good. Heel. Good heel. Sit. See? Three corrections now. Heel. Sit. Good. Heel. Sit. Three quick fucking nagging corrections. Heel. Good heel. Good. Sit. Heel. Sit. Good sit. Stay. Man. See? I'm gonna fucking be hard headed, huh? But again, if I was in a training room or in my backyard, he's gonna do fucking great. And then you'd be well impressed. Oh shit, I gotta send my dog to the dog messiah. But I tell you the truth, be more impressed by the way I handle the dogs when they struggle. Learn that. Learn about that. No, sir. See? Learning. This is a learning experience not only for him, but for you guys. Next time he gets up, I know that pulling isn't going to work. Pop, pop, pop. Three different corrections, yes? Stay. There's a gentleman coming with a kid and he seems very nervous. But I don't blame him. Look at this. So look, I'm going to catch him off guard. Look. See that? Sit. Oh my God. So handsome. Now this is the shit he loves. He loves to be kissed. And the first two weeks I was nervous about kissing him because he gets tense every time you touch him and hug him and sometimes he'll shiver and he's got big ass teeth right at my neck heel so that made it always a little bit nerve-wracking for me until i finally just decided i can't fight this feeling that his preferred reward is affection and being smothered in affection he loves it 
So let's mother him with affection. Whenever he does what I ask him to do, it works out good. Right? It look good. Handsome. Good. And see, I'm not going to smother him with affection if I have to remind him or reprimand him. So a, rem a reprimand is what I just gave him, a nip. A reminder would have been a consistent, steady bite until that I maintained until he sat down, which thereafter I would release it, heal. So there's a difference between reminding and reprimanding. Okay? I'll show you one more time when I come to a stop. Good. Sit. Slow, but I'll take it. Good. Sit. Heal. Sit. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to embrace you. It's slow, but fuck it, you're doing it, okay? Fuck it, I know you're doing it, Papa. Heal. Oh. Look. So that's a reminder in that context of healing. If I was stationary, nipping is a reprimand. But while you're ambulatory, nipping redirects and reminds. Sit. Oh my God. Fuck reminding people. Go bananas, handsome. And then most important is giving him a reward. You see if I told him to go bananas there? Now he understands that he can break heel. I try to keep myself positioned at their left hand side, you know, just for chills and giggles, for the habit. And then it happens, yes. Awesome, huh? Thank you all so much for watching, especially since you stuck around until the very end. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and pause the bell so you'll be notified when I upload another video, specifically the videos when he and his family work together in those classes that I've been harping on about, yes? My name is Erwin Valderamos, I'm the dog messiah, I'm the lover of dogs and persons, and if you can comfortably afford a dog training program, by all means do reach out. I offer phone consultations, virtual classes, a lot of it is just getting into the mind and the thought theory behind everything most of life's lessons for a dog are caught off leash more than they can be taught on the leash with that being said check out my instagram stories i update them daily and believe it i tell you the truth i'm the dog messiah i am he and make no mistake for this i was born go tell for them. this i came into the world and this beautiful doberman one of a kind are doing a new thing watch i show you how good so his mom and him picked him up that day and we agreed it would be good and very good for our follow-up visit to be in their home. Despite having held a class with them there a couple of times before and them coming out to me, I didn't realize that he had an issue with trying to break out of his kennel until after he was with me for the three weeks. Indeed, he did have much trouble accepting being in the kennel, but he was a lot calmer than he had been at home with them. So more than likely, he just hadn't been with me long enough to feel comfortable to show me his true colors. In three weeks, we were perhaps still in a honeymoon phase, so to speak. So my recommendation was in lieu of the classes for them to bring him out to me one day out of the week and I would waive the fee because I'm committed and I tell you the truth. For this I was born. For this I came into the world. So be ye angry and sin not. Don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Instead, you must be still, commune with your own heart upon your bed and be silent. And as with all things, when you do it, you must be intense in the doing it. If you are lukewarm, you're told in scripture, I will spew you out. Be it that ye are either hot or cold, but because thou art lukewarm, I will spew you out. You can't accomplish shit in this world if you're tepid and timid. You must be intense about everything that you want. Set yourself on fire and the world will follow. You are called to dominate the earth. Bless you all. So he's been with me three weeks now. Like I said, most off state in four months or so. But, however, with what he's already done with me with three weeks, if his family brings him out to a class once a week like they agreed upon for this program for the next three months, he's going to be fucking amazing. It's just a matter of time. Do you see what I mean? So any trainer out there that's telling you that all they need is three weeks for your dog to be fully trained, they're full of shit and they're willing to do things to the dogs that I'm not going to do. Fuck that.